So I've made this example program out of some of the things that uh, we've learned so far. Here it asks, uh, would you like to buy some pizza for a dollar? If you click yes, then your money goes down and it says you acquired pizza. Now if you spend all your money, it says, sorry, you're broke. And if you go over and click no, then it just ends the program. Now let's take a look at it. Uh, first off, I clear the screen. I set money equal to 7. And then we have our first loop here. I set B as equal to button so that every time the loop goes around, it will check what uh, the button input is. I locate and print my money in the corner. I also locate and print my question, would you like to buy some pizza, in the middle. I also go ahead and print my arrow next to yes, so this entire loop here is going to be the selection for yes. And I also print no. And I say, if money equals zero, then go to at broke. Let's go ahead and go down to at broke and see what that is. It just clears the screen, prints, sorry, you're broke. And then it ends the program. Okay, now let's look at the next one. It says, if B and write. And another thing, um, someone pointed out to me that you don't have to put the numbers for the button inputs. You can just put hashtag, you know, whatever the button is, and that works just as good. Anyways, uh, then you locate and print a blank space over the previously printed arrow, and then go to at no. Now here at at no, we say... Uh, B equals button, so we're still reading the button input every time the loop goes around. We're going to locate and print an arrow next to no. And then we're also going to say, you know, if B and equals left, then we're going to print a blank space over the arrow next to no and go back to at question where we'll print the arrow next to yes. Now, if you click A while in the no, then it's going to clear the screen and in the program. And if you click A uh, whenever it is over yes, then it's going to go to at buy. Now at buy, what it does is it decrements the money. That means it subtracts one from the variable money. It's going to print you acquired pizza, wait 20 minutes, and then print a blank space over that. 